Breathing every day, all day and night, is what keeps humans alive. Lung cancer is responsible for the most death of any of the cancers, with more than 120,000 people each year expected to die from this disease. Welcome to the discuss segment. Like we said earlier, uh, November is a long cancer awareness month. So for the whole of November, we can keep talking, which is written about um, lung cancer. So this morning, I and um, Faye uh, Shayo will be talking on the tips to prevent um, lung cancer. Yes, tips for lung cancer prevention. You know, sometimes on the show, when it's um, Health Thursday, sometimes we bring to you tips, health tips, to um, make us um, live well. All right, so this morning, Faye, like I said, November is a long cancer yeah. awareness month. Yeah. And you know, I think I said earlier that uh, this morning I was going, I was just going on my way, dead jail. <laughs> <laughs> dead jail on my way. But you know that when you are, where you are going, you just see something. Definitely. So if, if you will not see something, something will see, see you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, as I, was, as I said, I said, okay, I saw some people just um, around past 6 a.m. smoking. And you know, sometimes they just... Um, I just asked myself this question that is it that these people do not know the um, consequence of what they are doing or that they are just kind of living their life okay, just the way um, each day comes you know sometimes we just want to live each day as it comes, as it comes. Okay. but even if we want to live each day as it comes is smoking really supposed to be part of our daily life actually feel like um to me i feel probably they don't have um in enough awareness awareness yeah. yes because and that's why i think um <laughs> that, that, that's why i i like the fact that there is a month yes. um dedicated Get to long to cancer, cancer awareness because i think it's for it's uh, it's to uh, educate people more yeah. on um, cancer uh, lung cancer and it's also for people to know how to prevent it uh, by the time you know when the awareness is there you know how to prevent it yes. you know uh, early, early detection be able to detect it early like that so that we can breathe easily breathe. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah like I was saying mm. I feel that the awareness is still the issue and like you said I really like the fact that the whole month of um, November mm. is being dedicated to actually um, create awareness mm. because me as a person when okay I, I have this habit and mm. I'm, pro I'm probably like sensitized about okay when, when you do this thing for too long when you mm. do this for so for too long these are the risks I tend to, uh, yeah, I, yes, yeah, I'm yeah. going to face. Mm. But I feel that as a same person, you yourself, you will kind of think twice and be like, okay, this thing is not good for my health. I mm. need to like take a step back mm. or, you know, you know, and... But you know, sometimes it's not always easy, the way so, we say. You know, it's just like um, being addicted to something. You know, sometimes we can be, as, as, as a lady, I can be addicted to taking... Now, don't let me even talk about um, fizzy drinks. Yeah. I can be addicted to taking Zobo. I just want to be taking Zobo. Yeah. Just let me be taking, taking Zobo. And what, I think what, one thing we need to understand is that too much of everything... It's not good. It's not good. Yeah. When, if, when you drink um, too much water, <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. I was um, listening to a particular program one day, and this person was talking about another person having too much of blood in the body you know and you know what what we what we are used to is um person being short of blood person, person yeah. someone being short of blood yeah. now we have learned now that when you have too much, too of, much blood, of blood it's not good because according to what i heard it can block some kind of um i think so also blocking maybe the lungs or something i don't know i can't i, I can't really say really but now we know that having too much of blood can make the person die. die. So the basis of it is too much of everything is no, no good. good. Now you have a bad habit. 
this is clearly a bad habit and then you are doing it too much so people cannot go a day without smoking, smoking. yes it's okay okay you are you you smoke accepted how bad is it can you can you go a day without some will say okay let me just let me just have just one stick hmm. but from that one stick <laughs> it turns to like it turns to two packets or three packets of cigarettes yeah <laughs> it is not it is okay um what we what we want to talk about this morning is how to prevent lung, lung cancer. cancer because i feel that when once um is detected if it is detected like very early, early then maybe something can be done about it quickly but if not what happens mm -hmm. and as i read earlier it's one of the major causes of death in cancer maybe other types of cancer, cancer. can still be um, um there's still a way around it but what about lung cancer you know lung cancer the lungs you know we breathe so definitely i think definitely, i'm not surprised like it's the f number one mm. because you know it, it deals with how we breathe you know, how we once, breathe. even yeah. aside that you don't have lung cancer mm. once you have problem breathing you know how you know how you know how it feels mm. once you once you once you are not able to like breathe like properly. what we are having our, on our screen right now mm. uh we have um the the good they're showing us the good um Long, lungs and, and then the, the bad, bad one. one even people who sell tobaccos will tell you that smokers are liable, are liable to, to die, die young, young. Yeah. so i think it is best for us to uh not even smoke, smoke. at all just quit according to what i have here quitting tobacco or not smoking in the first place is one of the best ways to reduce cancer risk and improve your overall health now uh, let's talk about the ways to um, help lower our lung cancer mm -hmm. risk. Now we can have uh, we can have like okay, um, just like possible. There's every possibility that you can have lung mm -hmm. cancer. But are you also? What are you doing? Are you also f um, failing? Uh, are you also increasing? your risk your risk, risk yeah or are you trying <laughs> are you to trying step to it down, down in all ways now the first thing we have to talk about here is to quit smoking hmm. it says that at the start of the 20th century lung cancer was a fair rare, fairly rare disease quit smoking hmm. if you're a woman smoking increases your risk of developing lung cancer by 25.7 times and if you're a man it's 25 times quitting smoking is one of the best ways best in capital letter best <laughs> the best it's one of the best ways to prevent lung cancer it's something we can do yeah put our mind to it you know definitely I want to quit this definitely thing. You know you want to do this you know you want to live long hmm. even if you, even if it's not for yourself for your, for your loved ones <laughs> for your loved ones yeah. even if it's not for yourself so. you know there are so many people that love you yeah. around you just try as much as possible to quit smoking okay you smoke uh five um packs of um tobacco in a day you start by reducing you smoke two start by reducing yeah. it I think what we need here is um, consistency okay. and determination. Mission. Once you are determined that I want to, uh, don't, be don't be determined that you want to quit smoking. Be determined that you want the best health for, for yourself. yourself. If you are determined that, no, I want to quit smoking, you just find yourself doing another doing, thing. Doing, doing it again. Yeah. But when you are determined that, no, I want to live a very good life. I want to live... Um, uh disease free cancer free i just want to be uh i just want my health to be in a very stable place you understand that's when we have the uh, we have the mindset that okay yes 
I'm going to be quitting. This is this is one of the bad habits that I want to, to quit, quit now. Yeah. You understand? And you know, aside from um quit um quitting um smoking, smoking. You another thing is you should also avoid second and smoke. Hmm. What second hand smoke? <laughs> <laughs> second hand smoke, like hmm. it's just like the smoke coming from the person that is actually smoking. Smoking, yeah. You know, that is the combination of that smoke from the mm. cigarettes mm. and that of which the person exhales. Exhales, yeah. You know, that's why you say, you know, I've asked so many times whereby some people said, okay, um, not even smoke now, probably other things like weed or something. When, mm. when you stay in a room, of um, in a room where people are actually smoking mm. weed, you tend to actually get high too. Mm. Yes. And you are not actually smoking. Mm. Mm. You get it. So, mm. and I feel that there should be, there should be um, public laws that actually Ban, prohibit, um, yes, public, public um, smoking. smoking. Because, you know, you're actually trying to affect other people, other people. around you. Mm. And, you know, I think um, in some places, you actually have a separate area. You know, when you go somewhere, they, they will write um, smoking area mm, or yes, something. Yes. So I feel we should have more of that. And yes. we should have, like I said, like we should have laws that prohibit public because that public smoking is, is what actually, that is where you have more of the second hand smoking because smoking. you know you have other people that don't smoke and you, you are there you mm. are smoking. Mm. <laughs> I don't I don't I really like you asked earlier what do they actually how do they actually what feel? Do they, what this do they smoke, what, what does it? What does it do to them? Mm, we, we really don't know. <laughs> now there's another thing we need to um, be careful of, and this is radon. Uh, radon gas. Radon gas is a radioactive gas that you cannot see or smell, but it is the second leading cause of lung cancer that is after smoking and is the top cause of lung cancer among non-smokers. Now you do not smoke. But you have lung cancer it could be at a, uh, as a result of um radon gas uh radon uh, radon is a radioactive gas that is released when uranium in rocks and soil breaks down it actually seeps into water and air supply and sometimes it enters through the cracks of uh floors or walls or foundation and it's actually built over time so you can have your own tested for uh radium you can also see a specialist who can test you for uh radium gas and also what we need to know is to also know our family history, history. now we have said this that um smoking causes um lung cancer but it is not the only cause of lung cancer it might be one of the leading cause but it's not the only cause of lung cancer so try as much as possible to know your family um, history do you have someone who has had um, lung cancer do you have two people who has had lung cancer ask questions if you if if you can see that okay maybe three people um, have uh, um, has had lung lung cancer you can try as much as possible to see your specialist let them test you. Just keep going to um, for uh, regular uh, checkups, and also ah, you know this is this is Lagos. <laughs> this is Lagos. Lagos. You know when we are in a very rowdy environment, very um, rowdy environment where uh, there are buses. There are some there are some buses that you board, hmm. or you don't even need to board those. But there are some buses that or vehicles that just um passes just beside okay. you and you're like oh wow what is this <laughs> kind, of, kind of smoke this they kind emit <laughs> oh jesus you know sometimes the smoke actually blocks your view your view you won't be able that's to how, see. that's how bad somehow <laughs> mm. you won't be able to see, see. i <laughs> think uh what we we're trying to say now is that just if we can avoid that if we can avoid that if possible uh try as much as possible to always have your nose mask yeah on uh, with you yeah if you if you can cite something like this just that's quickly from your distance <laughs> just, from it it just um use your nose mask at least just that that will just try to um if not 100 percent it will try to like at least um cover up for <laughs> something you understand you are not so exposed to it to it really because um uh, the level of exposure what we are exposed to can also um, cause 
lung cancer for us. So try as much as possible to wear uh, protective gear and limit your uh, exposure. And I think we need to talk about this, that um, also chemicals, uh, limit your, uh, we, we should limit our exposure to chemicals. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this, this boils down to having, um, having industrial companies in uh in residential areas. areas yes i remember there was a particular um area where i stayed there was this um industrial um company that produces um is it pcb or pvc pcb that's um roof okay okay like um all of these are and all and of that all. so yeah. they produce it and it's situated in a resident in in fact between in between the residential area that sometimes when they start production you just feel you just feel you see dust on your windows yeah. and you're like ah, what is this by the time you touch it like white dust so imagine that entering into the house you know you, you, sometimes you don't even see it yeah sometimes you can't smell it you can't perceive it but you have already inhaled it. it. So I think that's what um, we need to also talk about. Uh, our government should also try as much as possible to um, look out for all of this. Also, uh, residential occupants should not accept uh, in all of these um, industrial um, Yeah, I feel they should, the, um, industrial um, companies should have, they should have a separate mm. place for them to stay. Mm. And it shouldn't be where people are actually staying because Same. you know you don't know what kind of what kind of gas or whatever is they might emit from the emit, country. Yeah. And also, whenever I'm going to um, whenever I'm going to um, a Korean, or mm. you know, I tend to see a lot of dust out there. Mm. You probably from the um, from the cement company. You know, and I feel like I always think that okay, these people that live around here, okay, how. I don't know. How do they what would be the state, the of, state their of their health? And you know, one thing we need to understand is that all of these things, the effect of this is not immediate. Immediate, yeah. It's not immediate. It's something that, I, as I, that has accumulated. Hmm. And you'll be like, ah, what did I, I, must, I, I don't smoke. Like, How did I get I lung, lung cancer. cancer? You understand? So these are, all of these that we've talked about, uh, what comes together uh -huh. and becomes you know, one be becomes <laughs> one exactly becomes one because yeah. we just tend to be like no i did not do anything I come on, i'm just we just have to limit our exposure to all of these um okay. chemicals and another thing we have to talk about is regular um exercise, exercise. Yeah. we need to get regular exercise once our body is active physically active physically active, active. then we know that okay we are good to go you know exercise can increase um, the function of the lungs, yeah. can increase our immune system. Yeah. It can also reduce um, inflammation. Yeah. And um, so uh, it, it reduces the risk of um, lung, lung cancer. cancer. Yes, once we are physically active, it reduces um, the risk of lung cancer for non-smokers. Okay. Yes, so that's it. Try as much as possible to um, do your exercise you don't have yeah. to go all out to the gym you can to do, do that you can do it within yeah. your environment mm -hmm. just jog around your house uh okay you can you, 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 some people cannot carry weight <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to carry weight <laughs> just jog, jog around your house even least. walking alone is walking exercise, yes yeah. walking alone is a very very good exercise it's not every time that you yeah. have to sit in the car it's not every time that you have to um, uh, let the car, uh, let your driver take you around. Oh, Please yeah. walk. Walk for 30 minutes. Walk for one hour. It's good for the body. Okay. Even aside, um, aside the prevention of lung cancer, you know, exercise is generally, it's generally, yeah. it's generally good. And lastly, because of our time, let's talk about the even LD. Hmm. Yeah ld diet all of us that we used to <laughs> do uh, used to when we buy a uh, all our all, all all our drinks that will do shh mm -hmm. once you hear that sound shh please discard it discard it we are all guilty 
discard it. Once you hear, shh, some people will even buy um, some canned drinks. And they will say, no, it's not carbonated. Hmm. Che, when you open the canned drink, it's not just shh. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's actually, feel that it's actually funny, need. but it's a very serious yeah. issue here. We can, we, I think we said, I can't, I can't remember when we, when we talked about this, but we can avoid all of this yeah. for our lungs, not even only our lungs alone, our kidney. Yeah. They, they have mm. the effects. And like we said, it's not immediate. Indeed, yeah. it's, it would have accumulated. Indeed. We can... In, uh, invest more in um, vegetables. Table, yes. You know, I was reading um, two days ago about um, water leaf. Okay. The Yorubas call it um, buri. buri. I don't know what they call it in Igbo, but water leaf. And then I, I you know, I was just, I, I, as I was just reading, I was like, wow. So water leaf has a whole lot of benefits that I don't, I didn't even know no. about it. I just, I just like water leaf. I forgot. Just, I don't. I don't like it. Oh. I don't, but now that you said it, I think I. Mean, I don't. I just <laughs> like what I live. You know. I just. It's so for me. It's so easy to cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to cook, and you know that. Okay, you're eating something nutritious. Cheers. Easy to cook. In fact, cheap to cook. Yeah. Cheap to cook. And then when I when I now find found out about the nutritional benefit, I was like, wow. So it has a lot of benefit like this. I think it said it works for the brain, brain brain cells, so many of it like that. We didn't even, I didn't even get to know. So we can take vegetables. Yeah. Vegetables, green tea. Turmeric. Turmeric okay. is good for the body. Instead of our fizzy drinks, try as much as possible to blend fruits. Fruits. Smoothies, you can do it on your own just just all you need to have is just a blender a blender and maybe a deep freezer yes to, to, store, keep, to yeah. store it you can you can blend for a week at a go put it in your bag when you feel like drinking something cold and mm. a, a fizzy drinks eyes you to hide it back <laughs> so just open your bag and then take out bring out your um smoothies all right uh, our time is really 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 fast spent we hope that you have learned um one or two um, tips for preventing uh, lung cancer. Yes, that's all we have for you on the Discuss segment this morning. Let's go on a short break, and when we come back, Daybreak Africa continues. Please stay with us. <laughs> 